So create a life with simplicity that bounds you to make or think out of the box. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and my dear young minds. Innovation isn't just a buzzword or just a word that excites you. It is a way of life or the life that motivates you to think out of the box. Innovation is not just that one big idea that comes in your dream or that idea which just sparks you. It's that particular word which excites you from within to think out of the box or to have a dream to make your ideas into reality. Innovation is not just a concept but also a way of life. Innovation is a way of how a genuine reason can solve multiple problems. In my dream, I was always excited with birds. Birds excite me. It sparked my life and the life which changed the whole concept of Rohit. My dream became my passion and my passion is now my profession that I live and I do for. I love what I do and it just keeps me pushing for more. When I was young, I was told that you're good for nothing. You are just a person who, are, who is most average and cannot just think out of the box. When I, when I used to do something differently, people said, this is not how you do things. This is the right way to do things. Whenever I tried thinking out of the box, I was told that if you do such things, you know, you'll never come up in life. But that's my friend, which actually made me the Rohit I am today. It is very important for each and every one of us to channel this power which comes from within into the things we love to do because this source of energy is something that can take you in greater heights. In my experience of innovation in last couple of years, today I will give you a glimpse of certain problems, real life problems that I am trying to solve with technology. This generation is called as the generation of drones. I have been working with drones since my childhood. When the bird inspired me how to make things fly, origami excited me to make complex aircrafts with a simple piece of paper. When scrap materials made me excited to make model aircrafts, the journey had begun for unmanned systems. Little did I know that unmanned systems can actually bring a revolution. Dear friends, today I will be taking you on the generation of drones. The future is right here. I will be talking about very exciting projects that I have been currently working on to solve real life problems with the platform of unmanned systems. So as I was talking about the drone generation, I'm trying to solve real life problems with the platform of unmanned systems. The, the basic idea of unmanned systems are to do things where people cannot go, or to entertain everyone. That's what drones were there for generation, just to take pictures or just to entertain people. But I just thought a little out of the box and thought how I can use this platform to actually solve real life problems. I will be talking to you about few of the com few of the problems that I think can change the world in a very better way. The first one is logistic drones for high altitude areas. Some of them are classified information. I would like to share the things which I can I'm allowed to share of. So logistic systems, then we have tether drones, we have mine detection drones, we have swarm drones, we have firefighting drones, we have radar calibration drones, and we have hydrogen fuel cell drones. And we have something very exciting which I'm working on, that is UAV-based wind power generation for renewable energy. Little did I know that drones can also be used for generating power. Firstly, logistic drones. As we know, we are at a current generation where transportation is a critical infrastructure for everyone. Imagine that you have to deliver some food to a certain location. Yes, drones can do it. But imagine we at India have the highest borders of high altitude areas in the world. That means these are the areas where our Javans are posted most of the time. Imagine if they have to have food, they take hours together to deliver food there. This is the current present challenges the, that the armed forces are facing to transport about 10 kilometers of distance. It takes 8 to 10 hours and they use something called animal mules to transport the food, logistics, whatnot. They, they, it's a life risking performance and it also involves a lot of challenges in terms of terrain because it's a non-motorable area. The solution's right here. So we are using these 
drones to actually deliver cargo at very high altitude. The challenge right here is to fly these systems at altitudes close to 6,000 meters, that is six kilometers from sea level. As we know, as we go higher in nature, the air density reduces and it becomes very difficult for any kind of systems to fly in there. The current challenges here are to have potential thrust loss, that is, as the air density reduces, the vehicles cannot fly. So as you know that if you fly to lay, most of the flights are in the starting of the day because the air is more denser and throughout the later part of the day the air becomes lighter and airplanes cannot fly. So that is a challenge which was put to me saying that Rohit can you make a system that can fly at 6000 meters and can help our Jawans and here's a solution that we have. A bee or a mother bee which actually is being followed by rest of the crowd but here you can see how drones are actually working in clusters and non synced performance and they can also do equidence behavior in terms of physics. That means they can work as a group or they can work independently and come together in a cluster. This will help us do a lot of applications in terms of mapping, surveillance and also construction building. Imagine you have huge cranes sticking up all the weight, you can have smaller drones do the same kind of thing. So these are the kind of solutions that will help us make our future much more effective, efficient and also, you know, give you a lot of wings to solve real life problems. Here you can see a pattern flying that is happening where the drones are maneuvering in various patterns to do very critical application. Here it is desynchronizing and again coming back to a synchronous performance. With this, I would like to, you know, give all of you a certain hack that I have been following throughout my life. How these hacks can actually help you think out of the box. The first hack that I would give you is how our human mind actually works. Throughout the evolution of humans, we humans don't do anything unless we get a reward. Unless we see a reward at end of the journey, we never do things the way we want to do. We somehow get lost in, in the journey. Let me give you an example. If today one of my friend comes and tells me that, Rohit, this is a field and you take 10 rounds of this field, I'll give you a 10 rupee note. I will take a moment and think, should I actually do it? Is it really worth it? But imagine, but imagine, if my girlfriend's father comes and tells me, Rohit, run 10 rounds of this field, I will get you married to her. I will do 100 rounds, I will not do 10 rounds. For me, that reward is very big. So my friends, always when you think about something, try to see how you can reward yourself. Because if you reward yourself, your mind starts functioning in a different way. And if you can condition your mind this way, I think no one can stop you. So every time I tried to fail, I used to push myself telling that, you know what, it's okay, let's try it again. And then the adrenaline that pumps in me saying that this is not the end, that is the energy you need to push forward. Moving ahead, before I give the last tag, that's very interesting, we'll stay tuned. I will explain you to one more interesting application that is being used by the unmanned systems that we have found out, that is drone-based radar calibration. As we know, ISRO is sending a lot of satellites into space, but behind the screen, there are these high-frequency radars or transponders which have to be constantly calibrated when every satellite has been pushed off. Generally, these, uh, these radars have been calibrated with very old-fashioned concept called aerostats. So basically, an aerostat is sent with a sensor, and then the sensors are calibrated with this particular performance. But these aerostats do not have any control. They are free-flying objects. Once lifted off, they can fly away. They cannot be positioned in the specific orientation as required. Hence. A lot of the effort of calibration takes away and you'll have to draw multiple, uh, you know, experiments to calibrate them. Then I thought of something different. I said, wow, I just have to hover in one particular location. Why not use a drone and try it out? Now, the current scenario, we have presented this, of course, uh, to ISRO and also a lot of other uh, organizations who are related to space. We are calibrating their radars and their transponders with drones. So a drone can actually fly in a very complex pattern and can fly in various directions. You can see the first picture here, how the dishes are being calibrated with just hovering. And the drone has a blessing to fly at very high altitudes and also can be hovering at one particular instance for a very long time. And it makes your, easy, it makes your work very easy and and you, the efficiency that you receive at the end is tremendous. Before I go to this interesting topic, 
which is again people thought this is never going to happen but yes there is a reality which is coming in the third hack which i want to give you all is when you do something you have goals set in your mind at times we set goals which we think are possible but we sometimes get lost in the journey i would say remove these end goals and make milestones for the final goal every time you finish a milestone the the kind of happiness you get is pumping you to the next milestone so when you have an end goal that goal should be all your small milestones because if you set a milestone which is 5 years from now there is a chance that you might get lost in this journey but if you set milestones of every small instance and then combine them together i think nothing can stop you the fourth hack which i will tell you how you can condition your mind when i said condition of mind i will tell you a small example or an experiment which was conducted very very long time ago so there the, a doctor and a psychologist performed this experiment with a very young baby so they made the baby sit and the they introduced the baby with a doll so every time when the doll was introduced to the baby the baby started smiling or it was happy the first time when the doll was introduced the baby started smiling the second time when the baby saw the doll it started smiling the third time also the baby started smiling but the fourth time what the doctor did is when he introduced the doll he made a very loud explosive noise the baby started crying then the doctor repeated this for many times and every time the doll when the doll was introduced the baby started crying because of the loud explosion for the 26th time it did the same at the 27th time the doctor didn't make the sound but just introduced the baby with the doll the baby still cried so this shows how our human mind gets conditioned to the environment so my friends if you can condition your mind this way just think what can you not do so condition of mind is a very important thing for innovation because there is a journey where people will still pull you down for various reasons but you have to come up again the goal here is to reward yourself condition your mind and never give up with milestones so this is a very interesting concept which i have been working for last couple of uh, months which is uav based renewable source of energy as we know as the world is going ahead into the future we are coming in an extension with you know sources of energy and we are trying to find other ways of renewable energy so this is a very interesting concept where a drone is used to generate power firstly we are using uh, the help of wind wind generation is the concept here but how does it help or how does it work we have seen conventional turbines in nature the turbines are actually you know rotated with an armature with the flow of wind and that in turn creates energy here what we are doing is we are, we have a special made uav which can fly at very high altitudes because as we understand as we go higher the wind speed is much stronger and that can actually enhance a lot of energy platform but the turbines that we have or the windmills that we have cannot reach those altitudes for certain reason so here the concept is the vehicle flies constantly so this is a glider as such so the glider always flies against the wind so every time the glider is introduced against the wind the glider starts climbing in altitude and you can see there is a tug which is installed with the ground based generator and every time the glider keeps going up the tug is pulled and autonom autonomously energy is created and this particular platform doesn't need heavy infrastructure it can be just a small turbine can be installed anywhere the the main concept here is it can be a free flowing energy and again it's a fully autonomous system the uav flies in specific patterns that means after it goes to the maximum altitude of hundreds of meters it can again fly down and this process can be regenerated multiple times and there is no end for it because as higher you go the strength is much higher and the armature will keep generating power so this my friend is a very unique concept for power generation which is i think it will change the future and it will give new wings to renewable source of energy before i go to the last slide of mine every complex things come from simple ideas that was the starting of my talk so this if i will again leave this question to the audience if anyone can guess the weight of this aircraft i think i will do all their homeworks it's for all the students if you are able to guess the weight of this aircraft i will do your all semester homeworks and that's a guaranteed reward from my side anyone in the crowd i will not take i'm not very uh, i'm not very heavy i won't take that 
Ah, uh, still I won't take that. Ah, uh, I'm not happy. Unfortunately, three options are given. So this is currently Asia's lightest aircraft, which is 1.3 grams, and it's a flying aircraft. And they say that every big thing can only fly, but I say every small and light things also can fly. You just need the effort and the determination to make it. They say that success is not that thing, you just go and get it. You need to work towards it, you need to climb hurdles. And my friends, nothing comes easy. Things which come easy, we don't value it. Things come in a different and a difficult way, we start appreciating them because we put all our efforts and all our you know, minds into it. And young minds like you, you are at the right generation. You have connection to the technology, the knowledge, and the inspiration like us. We are happy to help, and we like to share knowledge, and we want you to do better in life. I would like to conclude with this. Dreams are not something which doesn't come in your sleep, but dreams are something which doesn't let you sleep. So start dreaming, start innovating. Thank you.